It's Professor Dave. Let's work with polynomials. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. So we've defined the polynomial as a concept. It's an expression or equation involving multiple terms that each include a variable raised to some positive whole number exponent, which may also be multiplied by some coefficient. These are listed in descending order, ending with any constant which can be thought of as the x to the zero term, since x to the zero equals one. Now that we know what these are, we have to be able to manipulate them and perform various operations. Let's start with the simplest operations, addition and subtraction. When we add and subtract polynomials, the key is to combine like terms, because we want a single x to the fourth term, a single x cubed term, and so on, for any exponents that happen to be present in the expressions. When we combine like terms, this is the same application of the distributive property that we have already learned. Just as 5x plus 4x is equal to the quantity of 5 plus 4 times x, or 9x, this will apply to 5x cubed plus 4x cubed. We can ignore the exponent for a moment because we can simply recognize that they match. If they match, it doesn't matter what the term is. We will only manipulate the coefficient. 5x cubed plus 4x cubed may as well be 5 apples plus 4 apples, where the symbol of the apple can be taken to represent x cubed. Once we see things that way, it is easy to see how these terms add together to become 9x cubed. This is also apparent when we apply the distributive property, as x cubed could operate across the sum of 5 plus 4. Now let's add two whole expressions together. 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 will be one expression, and the other is x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 4. If we want to add these together, there are several ways we could do it, and whichever way works best for you is just fine. We could just write a new expression with all of these terms in a line if we wanted. Then it's just a matter of identifying like terms and adding them together. However, a slightly tidier approach, if you value that sort of thing, could involve putting one expression over the other, so that we can do arithmetic just the way we did with small numbers. If we do this, it is important to notice the degree on each term, and make sure the exponents are lined up properly, so that we add or subtract the correct terms. This could involve leaving a blank space if a particular exponent is not present in an expression, like this one, which does not have an x cubed term. This kind of bookkeeping will help us avoid making a careless error. Now with everything lined up, we just add. x to the fourth is by itself, so we leave it alone. Same with 4x cubed, that will stay as is. Then we have 2x squared minus 3x squared, which leaves us with negative x squared. Negative 6x plus 6x leaves us with 0 for the x term, and 9 minus 4 is 5. So x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus x squared plus 5 will be the answer. Subtraction is essentially the same. We just have to be a little more careful about our signs. Let's say we keep each expression as it is, but we subtract the second one from the first one. Now we are subtracting x to the fourth from 0x to the fourth. That gives negative x to the fourth. Then it's 4x cubed minus 0, so that term stays as it is. Then it's 2x squared minus negative 3x squared. Remember that subtracting a negative number is the same as adding the positive version. So this becomes 2x squared plus 3x squared, or 5x squared. Negative 6x minus 6x is negative 12x, and 9 minus negative 4 is 13. And this is how we subtract one polynomial from another. So that's all there is to it for the addition and subtraction of polynomials. Things get trickier when we try to multiply polynomials, but before we move on to that, let's check comprehension.
Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com. Thank you.